So let's take a look at channel economics, but this time assume you are an original equipment manufacturer and your product becomes some other customer's cost of goods. So let's assume this diagram on the top is a laptop computer sold through a computer reseller channel. And let's say this laptop sells for $3,000. And, like any other channel, the end user assumes they get a discount. The reseller is taking a profit, but gee, that reseller was actually buying these laptops from a master distributor. Now, remember, back here, the manufacturer of the laptop had their cost of goods, sometimes abbreviated COGS, which include manufacturing costs, components, etc. And finally, they had their sales costs, their R&D costs, and their general and administrative costs. And finally, after all that, they make a profit. So where do you fit? This is just a laptop manufacturer. Assume this is Apple or HP. But in this case, you were a graphics chip supplier to Apple or HP. And you were just one single component on their motherboard. Well, if you really think about it, you were fitting in here in their cost of goods. And now your cost of goods, your sales, general, and administrative costs, your profit, and now your reseller costs. Now, in some cases, you might have been selling directly your parts into HP or Apple, and you would not have reseller costs, but you would have more direct sales costs. Remember, this stands for sales, general, administrative costs. And so your profit is minuscule compared to what the laptop manufacturer is making, but you might be selling millions of single chips. Um, and so that profit is multiplied by that high volume uh, when you OEM a product.